Joining us right now is uh, Shri Shri Ravi Shankar. Shri Shri, thank you so much for speaking to uh, NDTV. I, I want to know from you your initial reaction, your first reaction to this judgment. Uh, it was unprecedented, the fact that it took 40 straight days uh, and then unprecedented that it was delivered on a Saturday and also unprecedented that it was unanimous. Correct. There are several historic facts uh, that contributed to this great judgment that, that has come today. And I think uh, this is, uh, this need to be welcomed by one and all. I know it's good for both communities and it is just for everybody. And it is also fulfilling the dream of millions and millions of uh, countrymen. Now, Shishi Ravi Shankar, you've been part of a mediation panel. Uh, you've made certain recommendations yourself, tried to get all the stakeholders uh, or the aggrieved parties together. And one of the things that was spoken about back in the day also was that the Muslims get another piece of land uh, adjacent to this disputed site for the construction of their mosque. Today, the court has said exactly the same. Do you think, and I know, uh, you know, it'll be... Uh, now that the judgment is out, do you think that mediation should have been given a chance so that at least this, this attempt, what the court has decided, could have been done without one person feeling as the victor and the other feeling as aggrieved? Exactly, this is exactly what we have been trying in 2003 itself. I had given this proposal and it was... It, with consensus of many leaders from both sides, many spiritual and religious leaders from both sides. But there were few uh, voices who were talking against this, who were uh, against any sort of settlement. There are few voices, even today you can hear the very, uh, they are in minuscule minority that they want conflict to continue. Perhaps conflict is a, is sort of a, cash go for them, I don't know, but some people enjoy or their existence is in uh, uh, popping up the conflict. So, uh, this judgment has silenced all those voices as well. The mediation committee also has uh, proposed very, uh, very similar to this and uh, Supreme Court judgment uh, is such a wonderful judgment with all the five judges agreeing on, uh, you know, uh, giving this uh, historical judgment. See, even mediation has never happened on a public issue anywhere else in the world. The mediation in the public, for a public issue, is first of its kind in the whole world. Usually it is between just two parties. Here we had 25 parties and obviously it's not possible that all of them can be on one page. Mm. But this has put an end to all sorts of contentious issues and the country can look forward to move, move ahead from this sore uh, of the past. You think now the onus the will sore be on... of the past. Yes. Uh, uh, Shri I wanted to ask you, do you think the onus now will be uh, more on the governments, but also on, uh, say, individuals like you, uh, enterprises like uh, The Art of Living, uh, different institutes, even the media, to now move on. You know, everybody needs to move on, with time being the biggest so healer. Correct, correct. Everybody, every single individual, uh, every citizen of this country has a role to play in uh, in keeping up the harmony that we have. See, today there is so, such harmony in the whole country and, uh, and the appeal for peace and harmony, no celebrations, no agitation, that, that appeal has gone very well and people from across, from our Honorable Prime Minister to uh, religious leaders, everyone from all corners of this country uh, have given voice to it and and it has been honored by the people. Shishi, even back in the day when you uh, or your mediation And panel... it's a great thing. It's a great... This itself... Yes. 
yes, you were saying. This itself is a great achievement. This shows how resilient and uh, harmonious our country is and its culture is. Sure. Shishi, I wanted to ask you, uh, you know, let, let me ask you another question. As far as uh, Zafaryab Jilani is concerned, who's part of the, uh, one of the lawyers uh, from the aggrieved parties, he says that in this judgment, there is something self-contradicting. The fact that the court has said that the demolition was illegal, but at the same time has ordered for a trust to be made by the government for the construction of the temple. See, uh, I cannot go into what someone else is saying, hmm. but uh, I would say that uh, we have interacted with them all. And for some people, as I said, it is their bread and butter. It is for their, um, for, for whatever reason, they, they, some people may oppose it, uh, that the court uh, will deal with them, right? But as, as, as far as I'm concerned, it's a very good, and fair judgment, keeping in mind uh, the sentiments, demands, and requirements of both the communities. Shishi, uh, even yeah? when you okay. were mediating, you. Ju just one moment, Shishi, just one moment, Mr. Ravi Shankar, just give me two more minutes. Okay. Ju yeah. Just give me two more minutes, uh, if you could ask the. One minute. Huh? Yeah, uh, uh, all right. I, I, what I wanted to ask you is that when you were mediating, and this, this has got to do with your mediation, uh, since the recommendation was that the Muslims take land somewhere else, now that's exactly what has happened. Could you tell us what really was the grievance back then? Why did they reject that mediation proposal? Well, that you have to ask uh, those parties. I cannot answer for them. Because even Perhaps now... They, they thought they will win and... Uh, or no, they, even now they say you can't just uproot a mosque from somewhere and build it somewhere else. It's against the tenets of Islam. So in that spirit no, they there, feel... There are scholars, there are scholars who have completely contrary... You, you, you may talk to... Uh, Maulana Salwan Nadvi and other uh, Toki Raza Saab of uh, Barelvi School and many other Imams and they will have a different opinion. Okay, thank you. Okay. Shri Shri Ravi Shankar, many thanks for joining us right here on NDTV.